Welcome to Common Core Math. This is Grade 7, Module 2, Lesson 8. The focus of this lesson is on the, applying the properties of operations to add and subtract rational numbers. We are going to look at the problem set. We are going to, going to look at problem 6 and then problem 7. Number 6 reads, Megan said the opposite of the sum of negative 12 and 4 is 8. Do you agree? Why or why not? Well, let's start with the first keyword, the sum. So the sum of negative 12 and 8, sum means to add. So they're saying if I found the sum, meaning negative 12 plus 4, they're saying is the opposite of that sum 8. So if I found the sum of negative 12 and 8, that, excuse me, negative 12 and 4, that answer would be negative 8. But they didn't ask me for the sum of negative 12 and 4. They asked me for the sum, for the opposite of that sum. So since it said to find the opposite, I'm going to have to do the negation of that. So instead of having a sum of negative 8, the opposite of the sum would be 8. So it says, do you agree? The answer is yes. And the reason why we agree is because the sum of negative 12 and 4 is negative 8. So the opposite is positive 8 or just 8. Now let's look at problem number 7. This reads, Jolene lost her wallet at the mall. It had $10 in it. When she got home, her brother felt sorry for her and gave her $5.75. Represent this situation with an expression involving rational numbers. What is the overall change in the amount of money Jolene has? So we start with the fact that she lost the $10. To show that she lost $10 means that she is ne has a negative $10 because she's down by $10. And then her brother felt sorry for her, and he gave her $5.75. So she gained 5.75. Now that is the expression involving rational numbers. Now the question is, what's the overall change? Well, since these two numbers are, have opposite signs, we're going to subtract the two of them. So I'm going to take the $10 and the 575, and notice to subtract decimals, we line up the decimal points. We're gonna find the, the difference between those. When we subtract, we'll get $4.25. That doesn't mean the answer is positive 425, but that's the numerical part of our answer. So we have 4.25. But since the amount that she owed, that she lost, excuse me, is 10, which is a lot greater than what her brother gave her back, the overall change, which is what the question asks, is negative $4.25. So this is the change in the amount of money.